Professor Bart here, and welcome back. In this part, well, let's recap where we are. We've got our character. He's animated. We can jump. Go inside the building. We have fixed the metal detector bug, or you couldn't walk through there because the collision was bad. I know. I know. We have made it to where we can draw and halter our pistol. It's visible in the holster, now it's in the hand, not in the holster, and it's back in the holster and on the hand. We have added particle effect, sound effect, we've added empty shell casings dropping out, and a reload mechanism that actually drops a magazine as well. So, next up, let's go ahead and get some animations rolling. Um, even though we've already got animations, let's go ahead and add one for the pistol, so that when we fire, the slide actually uh, operates. Easy enough. But, let's go to the polygon heist. Let's go to the mesh folder. Weapons rigged. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my asset folder. Weapons folder. And we're going to go with the blueprints folder for where we're going with the animation. Alright, so we'll find our pistol. We're going to go to the skeletal mesh. We can take a look. We've added the pistol, but haven't set an animation to it yet, or a uh, function to it yet. But from here, let's go to Create Asset, Create Animation, Current Pose. We want to go ahead and tell us to go to our Asset folder, Weapons, and blueprints. And let's go ahead and give it a name. And this will be SWAT pistol. We'll just go SWAT P fire. Alright. So even though we know that we got it there, I'm gonna close these up. I'm gonna go to the folder and we look, we have an animation. Uh, it's no frames and doesn't do anything. So let's go ahead and pause it. Scrub back to zero. And we're going to select our slide. And I'm going to go ahead and say key and apply. Then I'm going to go ahead and right click. Before I've done 10, I'm going to do six frames. So I'm going to right click down here and insert frame after zero. And then insert frame after one. Insert frame after two. You see where I'm going with this. Four frames, I take you five, and we'll make it six. All right, so we're going to scrub to the middle. First, let's leave it on zero. Let's go ahead and hit key and apply and save. I'm going to go ahead and scrub to number three frame. And then what I'm going to do is take my slide and move it back. I'm going to hit key and apply. Then I'm going to scrub back to the end. And I'm going to move the slide back to its original point. And then hit key and apply. And if we hit play, it leaks. Let's hit save. And let's apply that to the pistol firing. Um, we'll go ahead and put that in here. So what we have is the firing of the pistol. We're getting some things, um, a location and rotation, and playing a sound, playing an emitter, spawning the shell cases, and now we can go ahead and put in the animation. Yes, we know it's going to be in a skeletal mesh. And the only one that we have is going to be the SWAT pistol, Anim. 
So what P fire? It is not looping. Okay. So another thing we should be doing is later on we'll put in a um, can fire and then can fire so we can actually set a rate of fire for the pistol. So if we actually draw the pistol now, we have an animation. To me it adds a little bit more life to it and honestly, not something most people will see, but Well, they do recognize, holy crap, the slide works. Now, yeah, it's something you can uh, marvel in, uh, something that was really, really stupid easy. And other people will say, that don't know how to do this, will be saying, how the hell did you get the animation, or where'd you get the animation from? Like, from? Huh, I made it. And then you'll be somebody's hero. Let's open up that doll. And let's open up this dough. The only one of the door, which is the back door. Uh, oh, okay. Um, but I'm not going to open that. I want people to stay inside. So good, and these doors are good. So. Could say that's it for this video, but it's only six minutes in. So, what else can we do? We have added everything to get ready to start shooting with this weapon right here. Um, we could honestly go ahead and take the um, the pistol and. Let's go ahead and add the light to it by default. You can see there is no mesh in here at all, but that's because this is the master. And let's go ahead and add a component. Is it a skeletal mesh or is it a static mesh? Or do I have the option of both? Um, I do have a skeletal mesh. So add component, and we're just going to call this light. Since it is going to be there on all of them anyway, and let's go ahead and put the Glock pistol back in there, or the SWAT pistol back in. SWAT fan, SWAT pistol. So we have an attaching point to it. And we'll attach this to the light port. And that will activate it to where it needs to be. Alright, so one thing that I needed to go over really quickly is to go into your weapon torch. And like we did before, Let's go ahead and add in a socket and create a socket called Bulb, and then hit Save. Now, to get this to work correctly, um, really easy to do. We've already created the, the basics. We've got the light here, and it's set to off by default. So all I'm going to do is come in here and do a keyboard F for flashlight. And to make this nice and easy, we are going to, when we press this, cast to pistol um actually let's just go ahead and do it to the master. And that should in theory let it to work. Now it's going to give you an error if you just do this and there's nothing there. And if you do it the way we need to, we'll drag it in here from our pistol in hand. And if we hit compile again, it's going to give us a note. Well, we don't care about your damn note. It works. 
Okay, so from here, all we're going to do is get a reference from our spotlight. And all we want to do from that is very simple of toggle visibility. Because we have the visibility set to off, it's going to be off by default. And it compile, hit save, go into our map. Let's draw our pistol. Hit the F key, and we have a light. Every time you hit it, it toggles the light either on or off, depending on what its current state is. So, really cool. Now, it is going to be attached to the pistol. And since we don't have a namespace just yet, um, right now it's going to look left and right with the pistol. Wherever we're looking with our pistol, it's going to be on. So, when we get into adjusting the aim space and creating the aim space, that will now, wherever that pistol is looking, that light's going to project. All right, I just want to keep this video quick and easy, and that should do it for this. And then in our next video, we'll do something else cool. Um, all getting ready to actually activate the, the physical shooting, um, we need to address uh, some things like pickup items, like picking up extra ammo, setting up our shot count, um, health kits, uh, things like that, so that we have things that we can actually interact with. So we'll do that in the next video. We'll set up a series of pickup items, and we'll create a test pad, which will actually cause us damage, and then be able to test out our health kits. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.